Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So this channel, Every Data Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts involved in data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I'm going to solve this question on lead code regarding find the missing IDs and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. The difficulty level of this question is medium and this question has been asked in Amazon interviews over the past couple of years. Also, some of you ask regarding the SQL schema. So this is how the schema looks like. I will copy paste this in the description box below. So yeah, let's jump right in. We are given a table called customers with two different columns, cost customer ID and customer name. Customer ID is the primary key for this table. Each row of this table contains the name and the ID of the customer. We are asked to write a SQL query to find the missing customer IDs. The missing IDs are the ones that are not in the customer's table, but are in the range between one and the maximum customer ID present in the table. Notice that the maximum customer ID will not exceed 100. Return the result table ordered by IDs in ascending order. Okay, let's go through this example, right? So here you basically have the customer's table. You have different customer IDs. The maximum customer ID is five, right? So we need to return all those customer IDs which are not present in this customer's table, right? So basically the maximum is five, right? So the customer ID can either be one, two, three, four, or five, right? So you have one, four, and five. So the only one that are not in the customer's table is two and three, right? So that is in the output, right? So basically, if you look at it, you can do this question easily using a recursive common table expressions, which we learned about in the last video, right? That you can, you know, use a recursive common table expressions to basically generate the list of numbers, right? Since these are customer IDs and it says that, you know, it will always be between one and the maximum customer ID, right? So what you can do is you can, you know, generate a list of customer IDs between one and the maximum customer ID present in the customer's table. And then you can simply do that. Okay. In this list, what or whatever is in the customer's table, you ignore that, right? So whatever you are left with is, are the customer IDs that are not in the customer's table, right? So how do we start this? We write a recursive common table expressions using the keyword with recursive and then we can give a name so let's give it cte as and then it should be within parentheses and here now we need to write now we learned about this that in a recursive common table expression the first thing or a first select statement should be a non-recursive part which is going to set up the base table or a base data based on which the recursion occurs right so here since we need to start from customer id equal to one right so one till the maximum customer ID. So what we can do is we can provide the base as, you know, number select one as let's say IDs or whatever, like it does not matter, right? Select one as IDs. And then what we are doing is let's union this with, and now we can write the recursive part that from this common table expression, right? From this common table expression, where, right? Where your IDs, IDs, is less than and now we need to define like what is the terminating condition for this right so it says that it the customer id is also always going to be in the range one and maximum of customer id right so if we write where ids is less than the maximum of the customer id column from the customer's table so if we write return max of customer id column right from the table called customers right if we do that, right, and this is the terminating condition. And for those conditions, what you need to do basically is you need to simply return the IDs plus one, right? So one, two, three, four, like up to the maximum value, right? Let me, you know, write this and let's see what we are getting. So select star from CTE, right? Let me run this. Okay, so if you look at it, right, so you now have, so since here the custom, maximum customer ID is five, right? So you have IDs one, two, three, four, and five. Now, all we need to do is from this list that we generated, which all IDs are not in this customer's table, right? So that are the IDs that are missing in the customer's table, right? So that is what we can do. So from this common table expression, we are only going to keep those rows, right? So where IDs is not in the list of customer IDs, right? So return customer ID from the customer's table, right? So if we do that, and then we only need to return. And since the city only has one column, right? So IDEs and in the output, it also alias as IDs, right? So 
now only thing remaining here is you know we need to order this by ids and ascending order so we write order by ids right okay now let me run this let's see what we are getting so yeah again accepted right let me go ahead and submit it to see if it passes all the test cases so yeah this passes all the test cases and this is how we do it again not a very difficult question if you know about the recursive ct concept right so we discussed about this in the previous video as well that you know for a recursive ct you need to start with the keywords with recursive then set up an anchor value which is non-recursive in nature which sets as a base right and then you perform the recursive part and you union them together and then using that list that you generated we made sure that whatever customer id we have is not in the uh, customer's table right so basically those are the ids that are missing and yeah so this is how we do it let me know if there is a better way or a more efficient way you can think of to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and until then i will see you guys in the next video